Today is gonna be a fun visual comparison video. I'm bringing you four different kind of metals that kind of look like each other. So if you were ever in the market for stainless steel, sterling silver, white gold, a platinum, and they all kind of look alike, I'm here to bring you that visual comparison. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on because nobody else is doing it like I am. I'm kind of a big deal. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to you to be to the A. I'm the fucking biggest in the game at the end of the day. Yeah, my numbers ain't the biggest. Yeah, I'm not the most liked. Yeah, I'm not the most charismatic. Well, let's just face it. I pretty much don't have shit. But what makes me the biggest in the game? That I think so. And if I think I'm the shit, then everybody else is gonna think I'm the shit. Because imagine, I think I'm about 6'4", 350 pounds with a fucking eight pack and an amazing dick root. But really, that's not the case. So act as if. What I'm gonna be showing you today is a visual comparison between three white metals. So a lot of people give me the comparison. Yo, Koobs, does stainless steel look like white gold? Does sterling look like white gold? Does platinum look like white gold? So visually, I'm going to present to y'all all of these metals in different formats so you guys can get an idea, at least visually. I got two Cuban links and two rings. So I'm going to be showing you side by side comparison and then we'll put them all together. And it's not going to be a complex video. It's more for you guys to see visually. So let me show you first stainless steel versus 999 silver in Miami Cuban Link platform. Here is my $20.99 Miami Cuban Link stainless steel bracelet and my Gold Fever Miami Miami Cuban Link 999 silver. Now that visual comparison for me is not too close. For me, the stainless steel has a little bit of a darker hue to it and makes it a little bit more industrial looking than the 999 silver. The 999 silver does look lighter. It looks a little bit richer. It looks a little bit brighter as opposed to this one feeling, again, a little bit industrial, kind of slightly gothic metal, heavy duty. Like it just feels more rugged and maybe more masculine than a dude who likes to wear assless chaps and leather and executioner Mask and all that gothic spiky jewelry might wear something like this and it probably might play off a lot better as opposed to this is the dude maybe trying to go the white gold route but the budget doesn't exactly allow it as of yet or maybe you're just a super silver fan because it's still a precious metal at the end of the day but visually I'm sure there's other stainless steel with different type of polishes that may look closer but in this particular case for video's sake these two do not look that close in my opinion for me, they just don't look, you know, close to each other. But if they were separate, you might be able to play them off one as the other. But once we have them side by side, then it tells a different story. Now, let's look at 14 karat white gold versus platinum. So I have a 14 karat white gold and diamond wedding band and I have my Cartier love ring, which is in platinum. Let's look at them side by side so you can get the visual comparison. Now these two side by side actually don't look that far off. The platinum definitely has a richer color about it. The 14 karat gold also has a higher polish. This one I haven't polished it or cleaned it in a significant amount of time. So it definitely looks a little bit duller, but it does look richer. This one just looks a lot shinier and a lot more polished and maybe lighter also in hue, but these aren't as far apart, at least in these two items as the 999 silver and stainless steel. So maybe we should compare white gold to the 999 silver. Now when looking at at both of these you definitely can tell a difference but it's not super drastic also uh, again the high polish and this one kind of throws this one off a little bit and this one is a little bit whiter in metal but the silver is definitely closer to the 14 karat gold than the stainless steel is to the silver in my opinion they're definitely comparable they're not exactly the same and what's throwing me visually off is the high polish of the ring if this was like rhodium dipped or something like that I'm sure it'll look a lot closer to this as they look fairly close right Right now so let's try platinum to stainless steel now what's trippy is somehow 
these two look closer to each other. At least in these two scenarios and situations, since this one has a richer, darker hue, minus the polishing and the slight dirt, kind of looks like the stainless steel portion. It has that richer, but mind you, this is still dirty, but it does look closer than the silver does to this. So it's quite fucking interesting the way that they compare and contrast to each other and just give it a different perspective visually. Obviously, we're not getting into specifics. I'm not a fucking iron worker, nor am I a jeweler. So this is just a basic bitch dude giving you his visual perspective and trying to share it with you in the camera. Now let's show you all four medals side by side. I think it's pretty interesting when you put all these medals next to each other and you see slight little nuances that are different in one than the other, but it makes it really interesting when you have the perspective and are able to see them. At the end of the day, if they're not next to each other, they might be able to play off kind of one over the other. However, when they're next to each other, you can definitely see some differences. This was just a fun video for me to do to give you different perspectives of four different models. Again, 999 silver, stainless steel, 14 karat gold, and platinum. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. What do you guys think? What looks closer to what visually as far as the camera is concerned? And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches.